Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we shall fix the problem where Wi-Fi icon is missing from the taskbar in Windows. Now the first and the most common and most effective solution is power flush. So all you need to do is just unplug the power cord, mouse, keyboard or any external peripheral device that is connected to your computer and then press and hold the power button for at least 60 seconds and let your computer shut down. After that you have to wait for at least 10 to 15 seconds and then after that you can turn on your computer. Once your computer reboots your problem should be fixed. If it has not you can try to do the power flush once or twice more. If that is not working for you then the next thing is to enable Wi-Fi adapter. You can just click on your network icon and then click here on network and internet settings. You can click here on advanced network settings. Then you will be able to see all the adapters that are present on your computer. Look for something which is for Wi-Fi. Check if that is enabled or not. If it's disabled then you will find the enable button here. So just go ahead and enable it and then check if that has resolved your problem. Now in the next solution I want you to restart the wireless LAN auto config service. To do that just hit windows plus R and type services.msc. Then from here you have to search for wireless LAN auto config that is WLAN. Yeah, it's here. This is the one. Just right click on it. Click on properties. So just make sure that it is running. If it is not running, then you will find a start button here. You can click on start. Then check the startup type. It should be set to automatic. After that, click on apply. Click on OK and then restart your computer and then check if that has resolved your problem or not. Then in the next fix, I want you to reset your network settings. So just right click on your network icon, click on network and internet settings. Then from here, you can click here on advanced network settings. Then scroll down till you find this option, network reset. Click on it, then click here on reset now. Then you have to click here. After that, all the settings of your network is going to be reset and then you will be asked to restart your computer. So just do that and check if your problem has been resolved or not. If that has not resolved your problem yet, then you can check for any update for your Wi-Fi adapter. To do that, just right click on your start button, click on device manager. Then you have to search for network adapters, which is right here. Expand it. Then inside it, you will have to look for your Wi-Fi adapter, which will be something like this. Intel Wi-Fi or Realtek Wi-Fi, depending upon the hardware that is present in your computer. Right click on it. Click on properties. Then click on driver check for updates if there is any update available for your wi-fi driver you can install it then click on this power management and then after that untick this option that is allow the computer to turn off this device to save power untick this one then you can close it and then check if that has resolved your problem if still it has not then you can open your browser and then check for the drivers which are specifically meant for your computer so all you have to do is just write the name and model of your computer or your laptop and then add drivers and then search. Then you will be taken to the support page of your computer. From there you will have to look for drivers. Then check for wireless LAN and then download the driver. Install it, restart your computer and check if that has fixed your problem. If nothing has worked for you so far, then the last thing that you can do is to do an in-place upgrade of your windows. This in-place upgrade is going to upgrade all the existing windows files on your computer while retaining your data and applications and your windows will be upgraded to the latest version. Now there's another video of mine which you can follow to learn how to do this in-place upgrade. I'll go ahead and keep the link in the description of the video so you can check out that video as well. Anyways, that's all for this video. I hope you were able to fix your Wi-Fi issue. So don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comment section which of the solutions has worked for you so that it can be helpful for the people who are facing the same problem. Thanks for watching.